Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you love getting first look of the coolest new features Samsung is bringing out, you're in the right place. So today we're diving into five trending One UI 8 features that are changing how your phone feels and works. So whether it's something stylish, something smart, or something purely fun, you're going to want these in your life. So before we jump in, make sure to subscribe, smash that like button, and don't forget to comment below which feature you think is the best. All right, let's begin. So your first feature is your fingerprint animation. So with One UI 8, unlocking your device isn't just functional, it's more expressive. So the fingerprint reader now sports custom animations. So when you press your finger, you'll see a short visual flourish like light rippling, particles forming, or subtle color burst. So it depends on your chosen style and theme. So Samsung offers several animation presets and some may adapt to the screen color or theme. So let me show you an example. So here in the example, when I go ahead and unlock it, you will see that we can go ahead and change these animations and I'll show you how to do this. So for this, you'll need the Good Lock app. Go ahead and install Good Lock. In the Good Lock app, you're gonna go ahead and install the Lockstar module. Now once installed, go ahead and tap on this. This will take you to your lock screen customization. Here you need to go ahead and tap on your fingerprint. Now you'll get this menu here where you can go ahead and choose all the different animations you can apply for your fingerprint unlock. So go ahead and choose what you like. And once that's done, press done. And now when you go ahead and lock your screen and you unlock it using your fingerprint, you'll see that animation. So this way you have visual feedback and aesthetic. So instead of a static or bland animation, your unlock feels more polished. So it's satisfying to see movement in response to your touch. It's basically personalized so you can express your style and you have the intent awareness as well. So the animation gives you an instant confirmation that fingerprint sensor registered your touch. So it's less guessing if it was accepted or not. Now the next feature is feature number two, which is your adaptive clock. So in One UI 8, the adaptive clock takes personalization to the next level. So instead of just sitting on top of your wallpaper, the clock now intelligently wraps around the subject in your wallpaper. So for example, if your wallpaper has a person, pet, or object as a main subject, the clock will shift its position and curve around, almost like the subject and the clock are interacting. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and long press on our home screen, tap on wallpaper and style. Next, we'll go ahead and choose our lock screen. And let's go ahead and try this with this wallpaper. So I've got Tom and Jerry. So as you can see, my clock is adapting to the wallpaper. So it's basically going around Tom's head. If I go ahead and move this anywhere here, this will even adapt to the left hand side. If I go ahead and make it a bit larger, as you can see it's adapting to it. So let me show you how to enable this. So first you wanna go ahead and tap on wallpaper. And here you wanna go ahead and choose a wallpaper where there is a subject in it. So for example, this person here. Now next you wanna go ahead and tap on your clock. And here in font and color, you wanna go ahead and choose this clock here. So it's a moving clock, which basically changes the size of the text. So one and two will be going up and down in animation. So go ahead and tap on that. Next, you wanna go ahead and choose your thin or bold letters. And then you can go ahead and choose your colors. I've just left it as automatic, so it adapts to the wallpaper. Now next, you wanna go ahead and change the size. So let's make it a bit slightly bigger and then go ahead and move it anywhere you like. So as you can see, if I move it to the left, the zero becomes a bit larger while 227 stays the same. So it's not covering the face of the person in the wallpaper. If I move to the right, only 02 will stay above the head, while the 27 will get slightly larger. Now, once you're done, tap done. So this basically gives you a immersive aesthetic, so your wallpaper feels alive and dynamic, as if the design flow around the subject instead of covering it. By adapting its layout, the clock avoids clashing with the subject, making both the time and the wallpaper look clear, and you have unique personalization. So each wallpaper creates a different effect, so your lock screen always feels fresh and tailored. Now, feature number three is your new gallery photos chosen by Samsung AI. So this feature uses Samsung AI to pick photos from your gallery that are especially suited to become wallpapers. So it looks for image quality, color composition, how well the photo will look behind the icon, clocks, and widgets. 
It then suggests or automatically rotates wallpapers from your high quality photos, bringing fresh looks without you having to dig through thousands of photos. So let me show you how to see this. So here we'll go ahead and long press on the home screen, tap on wallpaper and style. Next, we'll go ahead and tap on our lock screen. And then we'll go ahead and tap on wallpaper to the top left. Now here, you'll get a new menu where in gallery, you'll see all the suggested images. So if you go ahead and tap on this, this is all images suggested by Galaxy AI. So as you can see, these are all the wallpapers and they look great. So now you can go ahead and choose anything you like from here and then go ahead and apply this to your lock screen. So your phone gets an effortless style refresh. Your home screen will feel new more often without you spending time hunting for good images. You have optimized visibility as since the AI chooses a photo, this will work well with icons and, and widgets. So it avoids things like faces or important details being obscured by clock or notification area. And it showcases your best photos. So perhaps one of your lesser used pictures suddenly looks amazing at the background. So it's a great way to rediscover memory shots. Now your next feature is feature number four, which is your new drawing assist style. One UI 8 expands the drawing tools on devices with stylus or touch input by introducing new drawing assist styles. So these includes updated filters. So let me show you how to access them. So first you want to go ahead and bring down your edge panel and then tap on drawing assist. Now here you can go ahead and be creative by drawing using a photo or text image. I'll just go ahead and draw something. So let's just say for example, a boat. Now here at the bottom, in your before version, you only had six options. However, now you have a total of 10 options. So these are all the new options which Samsung has added. So you can go ahead and choose all of these different creative styles. So you have a 3D cartoon, oil painting, pop art, sketch, illustration, watercolors, soft illustration, Instatoon, Webtoon, or Art Novia. So let's try Instatoon. Now we'll tap on generate. And there you go. So it's basically created my drawing into an Insta cartoon. So with this, you have more creative freedom. So you have more styles and you can go from line art to painterly looks without needing any external apps. It appeals to both casual and power users. So whether you're occasional doodle or you're doing a serious design work, you get tools that help at both levels. Now, the last feature is feature number five is where you're now brief read aloud. So One UI 8 enhances the brief section by introducing a read aloud feature. So instead of just scanning through notifications or your daily summary, your device can now speak it out to you. So for example, while you're driving, cooking, or you're getting ready in the morning, you can have your phone read your upcoming events, important reminders, weather updates, or priority notifications hands-free. So let me show you how to do this. So here first, go ahead and long press on the home screen, tap on widgets, and we need to go ahead and add the now brief widget to our, to our home screen. So this is the widget which we need to add. Go ahead and add the two by two, add it. Now here we can go ahead and just tap on this and this will show me my midday brief. So it's telling me, hope you're having a great afternoon. It's giving me the weather report. It's giving me some playlist and it's giving me some YouTube channels, which I can watch. Sometimes you will have time to read all this and some days you'll be busy in maybe cooking or maybe working out or maybe getting ready. So instead of taking this phone in front of you and reading all this information, you can go ahead and use this option where it basically reads it aloud to you. So go ahead and tap on this. I'll put the volume up. You're having a great afternoon. Severe weather alert. Moderate rain warning from S8900 hours ESD until Sun 600 hours ESD. So this is like an accessibility upgrade. It's perfect for users with visual impairments or anyone who prefers audio over reading. You have the hands-free convenience, so no need to stop what you're doing. Your phone reads the essential info out loud. You have smarter multitasking, so you stay updated while focusing on tasks like driving, cooking, or exercising. So this also boosts enhanced productivity, so you don't miss important updates, even when your eyes aren't on the screen. So there you have it, five awesome One UI 8 features that are making phone feel smarter, smoother, more personal, and just more fun to use. Which of these are you most excited about? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss out on future updates, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get notified. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.